It cannot be that the minister and the government and a few other individuals can look at a document and review it and say that we speak on behalf of an entire country and we are going to take an entire country to the International Court of Justice without first putting it to the people. And by putting it to the people, I mean taking it to the National Assembly for ratification. As you know, the section of the Constitution, Section 1 and the Schedule 1 of the Constitution sets out the borders of our country, Belize. Section 68 of that very same Constitution says that only the National Assembly has the power to alter the Constitution and to make laws. And so what the current government was doing in 2008 up to present is actually assigning the power of the legislature onto the ICJ when in fact it should first come to the House for us to be able to vote on that, to review that, to ventilate it properly and ensure that the compromise has all of the terms that we can all agree on as a country before we take it to the ICJ. This is something that the Prime Minister will have to look at because we are relying here on cases coming out of the Brexit decision, in particular the Miller case and the UK withdrawal case, which actually set out the importance in any democracy of the principle of separation of powers. And what that means is that each entity, the legislature, the executive, and the judiciary have a role to play. And we cannot bypass the role that the legislature plays in such an important decision as this one, the biggest decision that us as Belizeans will have to make on whether or not we take our country to the International Court of Justice for a case which we still do not know what Guatemala is claiming.